guys. Hello. We're waiting for Sir Haji. And hintayin natin magkaroon ng... Ayan, yun na Sir Haji. Hi everyone. We have three viewers. See you. Hey Sir Haji. Hello Sir Leroy. Hi, ako, sir? Yes, yes. Ako. Okay ba yung audio ko? Okay Sir. Okay. So... Tago ko muna yung mga libro ko ah. We have eight viewers. We're waiting for us. I hope na maraming mag-aaw. Especially those civil engineering uh, students, civil engineering professions. So, ayun. So, we have now eight viewers. Wait natin for Haji. Actually, yes, guys, good. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and comment to my FB page. So, talagang nakani siya sa mga civil engineering topics. So, helpful siya sa mga si students, no? lalo na ngayon, more on online tayo. I hope na makatulong to sa lahat ng sa lahat ng mga mga students, sa mga CE. So, ayun. Actually, I invited one of our speaker today, ay tonight, no? He's one of my colleagues. Uh, marami siyang lesensya. No? Marami siyang license. So, i- pwede niyong tanungin about sa mga license na yun later on. So, we have, he is a civil engineer, a master plumber, and also an environmental planner. So, it's no other, other than engineer Haji Aranda. Hi, sir. Good evening. Napakilala na kita, sir Haji. So, actually, sir, I have here a lot of questions. For those uh, viewers na gusto mag-ask, no, you can comment para mamaya may tanong natin kay Sir Haji. Kumingi tayo ng thoughts, opinions, and other observation about sa field natin. Actually, si Sir Haji graduate siya ng DLSU. So, isa siyang archer. And focus niya is more on water resources engineering. So let us all welcome Engineer Haji PJ Aranda. Hi, sir. 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 He's now connected with the UE, University of the East Caloocan. And invite, in, lagi siyang ini-invite ng Pais para mag-talk. No? Kaya, ayun. So, ayun, sir. I have a lot of questions, sir. May mga nilista akong questions. No? Pwede na ba tayo magsimula, sir? Ayun, habang hinihintay natin si Sir Haji, ito yung mga tatanong natin, no? So, since I know that Sir Haji is connected sa pag-revise ata ng National Building Code of the Philippines, so hingi tayo ng update sa kanya. Hingi tayo ng update kay Sir Haji. National Building Code. Then, ayan na. We're adding Sir Haji. Okay na. Okay na, sir. Okay na, sir. Yan, yan, yan. Okay, sir. Wait. Ata, may mga uh, inaayos sila sa building code natin. And also, I would like to ask Sir Haji of what is his thought about uh, the construction industry ngayon. Lalo na mayroon tayong pandemic. No? And also, since connection, siguro maraming nag-aabang nito, about his preparation sa ating opening of, opening of classes. Lalo na, na may possibility na yung, yung klase natin is deal, uh, blended learning. 
So, tatanungin natin kung ano yung preparation ni Sir Haji about that. Especially yung mga subject na tinuturo niya, more on water, paano niya, paano, paano siya magkakandak ng mga experiment, no? Inom-inom na lang, ganun. So, yun, still, we're waiting for Sir Haji. Nagkaroon lang ng technical difficulty, technical problem sa kanyang audio. So, ayun. Hintayin natin siya. And, also, no? Marami tayong nandang tanong. Ano ba yung say niya if matutuloy pa ba yung build, build, build program ni Pre... P. Duterte ngayong uh, pandemic, ano mangyayari? Ano kaya yung thoughts niya about doon? Or kaya niya, uh, kailangan pa bang bigyan ng budget? About sa construction industry? Sa, sa build, 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 build? So ito check natin yan. Tanong natin yan kay Sir Haji. Malamang meron siyang idea. Shout out doon sa, sa page ng Engineering Wins PH. No? Nagbibigay sila ng free ebook para matulungan yung mga engineers. Welcome to Ed Talks. <laughs> okay, sir. Pakibati muna yung mga nanonood. Thank you, Shopee. Joke. <laughs> so, ayun, guys. Marami kayong dapat abangan dito sa page na to. Maybe next week, meron akong mga kausap na may may interview ako na international, na? International guest, a scientist, no? Maganda siya. Yun na yung hint, hint ko sa inyo. So, wag kayong, wag niyong palalagpasin yun. So, I think on Wednesday next week, i-interviewin ko siya. Pero recorded na, recorded lang yung interview namin. So, yun yung isa niyo sa mga abangan. And, siguro, we can invite some uh, senior engineers, no? At least habang nasa bahay yung iba, lalo na yung mga sudyante na walang ginagawa, magkaroon sila ng idea about sa sa field natin. Kasi sobra ding naapektuhan yung profession natin. Nasabi ko yung ibang question na yung mga nag, nagbibigay na opinions no, from Engineer Villanueva. Sabi niya, tuloy daw yung build, 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 though nabawasan yung mga pending infra projects. So, nag-work siya sa DPWH. So ayan. So another question, bakit po pinapayagan ng mga engineers ng DPWH na ayusin yung daang ayos naman at hindi lang kasi kasuhin yung mga daan na dapat talagang pagtuunan ng pansin. Pansin po kasi, pansin ko po kasi Lagi na lang sinisira yung mga maayos na daan at nagko-cost lang ng traffic at sobrang tagal pa kung ayusin. Siguro kunin natin yung insight, yung opinion ni Sir Haji about that question. No? Very ano siya. Though napapansin din naman natin, pero di natin alam kung ba I'm not connected with the DPWH. So, hindi natin yung opinion ni Sir Haji about that. Though may mga nanonood naman ng mga taga DPWH, ask natin, hingin natin yung opinions, no? especially for those uh, my students na nasa DPWH. I think meron silang uh, knowledge about that, about that, no? So again, still waiting for Sir Haji. Kinuha pa daw niya yung laptop niya kay Gab. Again si Gab, anak niya yon, no? Wait yon. Hi sa mga naging student ko, ha? So another question meron dito from Engineer Ruiz, no? Good evening. So ask, ask ko lang po Sir Haji about sa stand niyo sa Kaliwa, Kaliwa Dam Construction. So I take I take note of that. Hindi ko alam yung Kaliwa saan ba yung Kaliwa Dam Dam Construction. So meron kakanan, joke lang. <laughs> Kaliwa Dam Construction. If ever po di matuloy 'yon, ano po yung mga suggestions niyo? para sa pagtaas sa water demand sa Manila at kalapit na mga province. province. So mag magandang questions ito, no? Hintayin natin si Sir Haji later. So still, he's fixing his Facebook, no? 
kinukuha pa niyo yung laptop kay Gab. So naglalaro si Gab. Kinuha ni Sir Haji. Lagot. Naku, pag nakano tayo, bibila natin ng laptop si Gab. So ayun guys. Marami tayong nakahandang mga informative videos sa, sa page. So kaya ayun. Marami rin tayo mga kalokohan sa page. So, ayun. Para hindi tayo boring. <clears throat> By the way, guys, babalik na rin yung YouTube ko. No? YouTube channel. Video ko. So, abangan nyo yan. Malapit ko na siyang i-release. So, hopefully tomorrow. And again, sa kapapanood lang, meron tayong international guest next week. Huwag nyo kalimutan yun. No? Meron tayong international from Indonesia. So, wait nyo yun. Alam ko, gaganahan kayong manood. Also, again, if you have questions, you can comment. Hmm. Ito. From Engineer Laika, Fatima Lina. No? I think her opinion is about the Build, Build, Build program. Sabi niya, kasi connected siya sa ano eh, sa DPWH. Sabi niya, may portion sa BBB projects, that is build, build, build projects, ang na-realign or reallocate to help governments fight against the pandemic. So, ibig sabihin, tuloy pa rin yung BBB build program na bawasan lang ng budget. So, nilagay yung ibang allotment, yung ibang allocate, na-reallocate yung ibang budget sa, sa pandemic. Which is good naman, no? Kasi kailangan natin ng maraming budget for uh, for pandemic ngayon, yung nararanasan natin. So, wala pa Sir Haji. Waiting. Still waiting. So, ayun. Gusto ko rin malaman na no, makuha yung stand ni Sir Haji. Kung ano ba talaga yung position or what is civil engineering sa, sa nangyayari ngayon? Ano yung contribute natin as civil engineer sa pandemic na nararanasan natin ngayon? Gusto ko makuha yung ano niya. Yung, yung, yung point of view. No? <clears throat> sa tingin nyo guys, uh, sa tingin nyo, kailangan pa, ba, pa rin bang bigyan ng malaking budget ni President Duterte construction industry next year? So, what, what is your idea? So, kung, kung, oh, lakas, sorry. <laughs> Nagulat ako sa sa kidlat. No? If, uh, sa tingin nyo ba, or i-maintain yung budget sa construction industry, sa so build, build, build by next year, kasi if ever na mabawasan, no, maraming pwedeng sa employment ng CE maapektuhan. No? Especially yung mga project, mababa yung ekon ekonomiya natin. So, sobrang With regards to to blended learning for those students na nag-aabang about sa blended learning. Of course, continuous pa rin yun. No? When you say blended learning, meron tayong online, meron din tayong face-to-face. -face. Pero kapag pinagbawalan yung face-to-face, -face, fully online na yun. So may nakausap ako last time nung pumunta ako sa, sa UE. Nakausap ako. Sabi, sabi daw, that's true, pero nakausap ko siya. Sabi niya, sabi ni Sir, uh, meron daw chance na, let's say, hindi pa to sure, ha? if you are good in online class, parang hindi ka na, parang may choice kayo eh. May choice kayo kung mag-online class kayo or mag-face to face. So, if you're okay with the online class, di online class ka. And if you're, kung hindi ka capable sa online class, like for example, wala kang uh, materials, wala kang laptop, and so on, and mabamahin na internet connection mo, so you go to face-to-face. -to -face. Yun yung sabi niya sa akin. So, students have a choice kung, kung papasok siya or hindi. So, ayun. <clears throat> still waiting for for Sir Haji no so yun yung ano so medyo mahirap siya actually medyo mahirap 
yung preparation, medyo matrabaho. Kasi we need to finish the the modules for the whole term para planado na. So since yung UE naman meron tayong canvas, pinapasok na natin doon. And NU National University meron din tayong uh, MS Teams. Class is August 5. August 5 sa UE. I think until December 12. And the second semester will start on, I think, January 14. So, mga ganung date yung start. Pero not sure pa yun. So, I questions para mamaya pagbalik ni Sir Haji, may ask na natin. Medyo So, if you have questions, ask lang kayo. We have 28 viewers. So, kailangan 30. Check, no? <clears throat> Still fixing his, his laptop, Mr. Haji. Kaya, ayun. The insight, my opinions. So, ayun. So, some of the pictures na pinapost ko sa sa page sa akin yan kaya ayan na sir Haji wala pa kita last ka nga Wait lang natin, Sir Haji, ah. Nakano siya kasi hindi niya maano yung, ma hindi daw siya makapag-join. Ayan na. Ayan na, ayan na, ayan na. Maraming naghihintay kay Sir Haji. No? One of the favorite professors. Ayan na. Okay. Okay na ba? Yes, sir. Okay na. Okay. So, mukhang hahawakan ko tong phone na ito for the duration of the interview. Good evening, everyone. Pasensya na po kayo. At Ate, sir, bati muna, ito. sir. Bati muna sa ating mga manunood. Okay, we have 21 viewers as of now. So, bati ka muna, sir. Hello, Shopee. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Shopee. Hello, everyone. Good evening. So, okay na bang buba kayo? Naririnig ako? Oo, oh, sir. Okay, sir. Okay yung audio mo. Yes, okay. So, siguro naglalag lang yung data ko na no, tsaka yung internet ko, no? But anyway, so other than that, wala naman tayong problem. Okay, sir. I have here a so, question. balik telepono ulit ako. <laughs> I okay. have here a question. Regarding yes, sir. Sa, ano, diba, I know that you're connected dun sa pagre-revise or pagbibigay ng some sa national building of the Philippines. So, is there any update about the National Building Code? Ito, ito ba yung sa'yo pinatawag natin New Normal National Building Code? So, this happens, uh, ang rinerepaso na yung building code. And it is actually due to the numerous earthquakes na nangyayari especially do sa southern part ng country. So, nagkaroon na ng mga, ng, ano, na, and, actually, ang nag-prepare ng groundwork talaga dyan is the National Engineering Center ng UP. And, after they prepared the draft, uh, they called representatives from several professional organizations and it just so happened na ako yung pinatawag sa plumbing. Ako yung pinadala ng plumbing sector to review and to make any um, naibigay na namin yung ano namin and naabutan lang nito pero I'm still monitoring kung ano mangyayari doon. But once it passed, okay, so ako talaga masyadong of the that. 
uh, magkaka- that magkakaroon ng problem yan pag krinakraft na yung IRR assuming na pinirmahan ng presidente yan so yun ah, okay. pero for now because of what happened mukhang madadagdagan yan mukhang madadagdagan yan pero ano yan okay okay sir uh, next question no regarding sa sa pandemic ngayon what is your thought about the construction industry so in the next five years sa tingin nyo ano mangyayari sa construction industry natin okay actually I'm not actually looking okay So I'm speaking also from the point of view na academe and at the same time a practitioner also and likewise as a member of a professional organization. So this is actually first of all lahat ng mga current construction projects dadaan lahat 'yan sa renegotiation. Okay? Bakit sila magre-renegotiate? First of all, with the disruption na tumagal ng 3 months, panigurado usog ang kalendaryo niyan. And the fact na umusog ang kalendaryo niyan, it will lead to, syempre, a delay in the project and some unscrupulous clients would actually claim for what we call liquidated damages. Which is hindi po pwede yan kasi meron din naman tayong order na hindi tayo pwedeng gumalaw ngayon. So... It is not right na i-charge yung mga ganyang ano rito. Lalo na kung force majeure. This can actually be part of what we call a force majeure. So, magre-renegotiate yan. Now, ang isang binabantayan ko naman ngayon, uh, as also an industry watcher, is kumusta ang magiging amortization payment ng mga nakakuha na ng, let's say, mga condominium units, yeah, mga yeah. baha, mga loans sa bank, yung mga loans sa banko with respect to that. Kasi meron din disruption sa pagbayad niyan. And although the law has already given uh, a provision that would allow people to pay itong mga na, mga na interrupt na bayarin on a staggered basis, yung magiging cash flow pa rin kasi ng pera, madi-disrupt. So, ito ang nakikita kong mangyayari dyan. Two things. Number one, sasaluhin ngayon ng mga developer yung cost. And up to what extent, I don't know. It depends upon the health of the company. no? Kasi, pag ang pera ng company, eh, malaki, uh, mal- marami silang asset, eh, kaya nila abunuhan yan. Okay. Now, kung maliit, uh, worst case scenario is mapuputol or mahihinto yung project. It already happened before. In 1997, 1998, it nangyari na yan. 22, 23 years ago. And it can happen again. Okay? Actually, marami nga nag-aalok na sa akin eh. Uh, magsasalo ng mga condominium units or oh, like that. So, that is the, ano, uh, that's the threat. Okay? So, The disruption can last for at most five years. So, it can also impact yung employment opportunity. But we will see what will happen for the next, for rather for the rest of the year. Pag hindi masyado ang disruption, ano lang, English lang yan, uh, mga contract renegotiation. Mm. So, ayun, ang ano. Pero magkukorek ang real estate. Uh, made to-